back to my channel and happy summer officially now that june 20th has passed i believe june 20th is like the signifier of the start of summer although around here we start getting summer weather at like the beginning of may so it doesn't really register to me that's just the official date but now since it is officially summer, I thought I might share my top 10 favorite summer fragrances with you guys. Also, excuse all of the noise in the background if you can hear any rustling around. This is one of those days where Olive and Samhain really just wanted to stick around. So they're gonna be over here playing a little bit. As you can see, it's just causing a ruckus over there and her too. All right, so if you've seen any of my previous top 10 videos, you would know that I'd love to start out with some honorable mentions off the top. So let's jump in here with honorable mention number three, and that is Island Citrus Guava from Homeworks. So this is a perfect tropical fruity blend for the summertime. It's a really nice blend of guava and a citrus medley. And I've never actually had a real guava, but there is this specific guava nectar juice that I really, really love. And to me, that's what this smells like if you've ever tried this juice. This is one of the first candles that I burn during the summertime as it really brings in that just tropical, summery, fun type vibe for me. Homeworks does fruity scents really well and this one is just perfect for summertime in my opinion. So at honorable mention number two, we have a candle that is brand new to me this year and that is Bath & Body Works Berry Waffle Cone. So I know this thing has been available for quite a while at Bath & Body Works, but for whatever reason, I just never tried it out. And when I smelled it at this year's semi-annual sale, I told myself, you know what? This is the year I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna give it a shot. And I'm so glad I did because I ended up loving this thing. This is such a nice mix of a cinnamon sugared waffle cone freshly baked and almost this berry cobbler-esque mix of blackberry, blueberry, maybe a little bit of strawberry as well, but that blackberry is definitely the strongest in here to me. And it really does smell cobbler-esque. This is almost like a fall candle in my opinion. I mean, it does read as a summer candle due to the link of a waffle cone and the summertime, but that cinnamon really just almost pushes it over the edge. I could not stop burning this thing for the last couple of weeks and it would be finished by now, but I wanted to have at least a little bit of wax to show you guys for this video. So I've been holding off a little bit. Now, the only reason that it's in the honorable mentions for me here and not on the actual list is because I try to avoid recency bias as I tend to get swept up in the new candles I'm burning as opposed to my old favorites. But this is one that I can see making it to the actual top 10 in the future the more that I burn it because it really is a Bath & Body Works summer staple for a reason. So at the top of the honorable mentions, the one that just barely missed the list, we have Kringle Candles Avocado and Palm. Such a refreshing summer scent. It's such a great spa-like candle, very refreshing for the summertime. It's got this really nice green palm tree scent mixed in with some ozone, fresh air, a little bit of sea salt going around. And there's a little hint of like a melon in there. Think like honeydew. It's so relaxing, so calming, so serene. And this thing is like blow the roof off strong. It's almost beachy in a way too, without having to rely on a coconutty fragrance. I haven't been able to burn mine this year, but I'm so looking forward to it. I absolutely adore this fragrance. So at number 10 on my list, we have one of those love it or hate it fragrances. I see a lot of mixed thoughts on this fragrance every year, but to me, it's a classic and that is Bath & Body Works Firecracker Pop. So I totally understand why some people do not like this fragrance. It's got this crazy over the top artificial cherry, almost medicinal in how syrupy sweet it is. And I can see how that is off putting to some people, but when you're going for something like a 4th of July candle, I really appreciate like the hamminess. It smells really nostalgic to me and really encapsulates the fun of the summer. And that artificial cherry is blended in with a nice citrus note and a juicy berry note. Although it's not listed in the scent notes of this candle, I 
always pick up this distinct vanilla -y is That's not even a word, <laughs> but I always pick it up in this candle. I don't know if that's the citrus mixing in with the berry or the berry mixing in with the cherry, whatever's going on, but it gives it a nice smooth comforting note that I personally really enjoy. I always pick this one up and I always look forward to July when I get to burn this one. On to number nine here, I had to do away with my recency bias rule. I really do try to avoid that, but for this candle specifically, I knew I had to place it somewhere on this list. So we settled for number nine, and that is Bath & Body Works Beach Weather. This is another one that I believe comes out every single year, but I've just never tried it before. So I took the chance on it this year, and from the first time lighting this one up, I knew it was just something that I was gonna be obsessed with. I'm pretty sure if you go back and watch my semi-annual sale video from a couple weeks ago, you can literally see me in the moment recognize, whoa, like I love this thing. That was my first time lighting it up. And it was basically gone the next day. This thing is actually empty. You can see one of the wicks is just like crumbled because I burned it all the way down to the clips. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and relaxing, refreshing. It's this really smooth sandalwood mixed in with some green palm leaves. There's a little bit of like a watery esque note to create the ocean vibe, all laid over this really smooth coconut fragrance. I love coconut in my candles and it's done so beautifully in here. The coconut mixed with the sandalwood is just the coziest, most comforting summer type blend that you could ever smell. I have been saving the jar for this one since I've finished it because I knew I wanted to talk about it here and I would have like five more of these things in my collection to burn if they were available available anywhere around me. Once I was done burning it and semi-annual sale came around, I tried to look for this candle, but every store around me is sold out and I just don't like buying Bath & Body Works candles online to be shipped. Since they're so accessible to just go to a store and pick one up, I try to avoid doing any shipping of Bath & Body Works candles unless they do free shipping, which is a lot less often than I would hope for. But yeah, absolutely adore this one. This is another one that I think could rise in my ranking the more that I burn it. This is a new summer staple for me. It's always really exciting to have a new Holy Grail-esque candle. And I do think that this one will become one of my Holy Grails. I'm gonna have to pick this one up every year. So for number eight, we have the first one that I don't have here physically with me because I burned mine this year a couple months ago, and that is Kringle Candles Dragon Fruit Lemonade. So this is one of those sleeper ones that I don't ever really see anybody talking about or raving about, but that I am personally just crazy for, for whatever reason. And the name is also a little bit misleading. It doesn't really smell like lemonade to me. It just smells like a really nice, refreshing dragon fruit drink. It's really tropical and refreshing and also a little bit gourmand as well. There's a really nice tonka bean note in there that gives it a little bit of a smooth vanilla-y type fragrance. It's a really gorgeous tropical blend that I typically burn in between that spring and summer, like around April. That's like my April scent. So I guess technically not the most summery fragrance. But when I start to burn that one, it does signify to me that, oh, summer is starting, it's coming soon. I always very much look forward to burning it. And hopefully Kringle will keep this one around. I know it was released in the country line for the spring slash summer a couple of years ago. And then they did away with the country version, but the three wick version is still around. Although it's currently sold out right now, so hopefully they will bring it back and not phase it out. I think it's too good of a scent to just do away with. It's one of those ones that I've really grown to love over the years and one that I always have to pick up whenever it's available. So coming in at number seven here, we have another Kringle with ginger lily and palm. So this is my personal favorite Kringle spa scent. It's extremely serene and it 
feels high end. It feels like you're in a really fancy, really expensive spa. It has this really nice sparkling effervescent like citrus note mixed in with greenery from the palm leaves. There's a hint of pineapple and there's this really nice acai berry note in here that blends with the pineapple to give it a nice distinct like tartness. This one is like a getaway in a candle. You light this one up and it's very relaxing. It just puts the room at ease. And it's one that's very light for summer not on strength but you light it up and it just feels like uplifting very calm and easy to enjoy I always look forward to burning this during like the mid-June to July where it's really really hot and you don't want something that's going to be too heavy for you I think it's absolutely beautiful it is 100% a summer staple for me so coming in at number six here we have another citrusy scent and arguably my personal favorite citrus scent and that is Kringle's Sicilian Orange. This is such a unique orange fragrance. It's this really bright zesty orange mixed in with these green almost evergreen-esque notes. There's definitely some pine needles in there. The citrus in this candle is so unique to me because it does smell like that orange peel. You do get the distinct bitterness of it but it's a bit more juicy than just the peel to me. It's like a really nice fresh orange slice. You get the orange fruit and also the peel. When you squeeze it, that's what you're smelling. And then that evergreen pine note really accentuates it. It's refreshing and rejuvenating. And this one is one of those knock your socks off, very strong candles from Kringle. Almost room clearing, room neutralizing. And I really love it for that. This is such a gorgeous, just blend and one that I have to have every summer. So coming in at number five here, we have another one that I don't have here with me, but one that has left a lasting impression on me, and that is Homeworks Banana Daiquiri. So this is one of my favorite banana scents. It smells like a very expensive tropical frothy pina colada mixed in with a nice smooth banana puree with a heavy dash of dark rum. It is a very boozy candle, but I personally really love boozy candles. It smells very nostalgic to me. It reminds me about my vacations to Hawaii. It really makes your room smell like you're at a tropical resort or a tropical getaway. And at least my last year's version that I burned was really, really strong. It performed really well for me. The banana in it was a very nice fresh banana. It didn't lean into that runcy candy-like banana that I know a lot of banana candles can lean into. This is one that I'm bummed that I haven't been able to burn this summer. It is available, but it's not on sale yet. So the next time that it does go on sale, gonna have to pick up a few of them. One of my biggest surprises from last year and another new summer staple for me. So coming in at number four here, we have my favorite coconut candle of all time. And that is Kringle's Sea Breeze. This candle is probably the most accurate to me personally of what it's like to just be chilling on a beach. Maybe not necessarily in scent, but in how it makes you feel. It has this really amazing salty air mixed in with an extremely smooth coconut. And just to top it off, there is some banana. The specific banana scent in this candle is the reason why I'm so hooked on this one. I'm so addicted to it. It just keeps me coming back. It really does feel like a serene beach getaway. You're just far out on an island, chilling on the beach. You do not have a care in the world. I think the label really encapsulates what this candle smells like. It's extremely accurate to the scent. I really think this is one of my favorite Kringles. This is one of their best summer fragrances, in my opinion. And it definitely has become a holy grail to me over the past year that it's been released. One that I go for very often and one that I will keep going back to for the rest of the summer. All right, so cracking into the top three of my list here, we have a candle that maybe walks the line of what is summer and what is 
fall. But I'm gonna take my personal stance and say that this is a summer fragrance. And that is South of Sanity's Tomato Scarecrow. So this one's a little spookier than your average summer fragrance should be. And you really could make the argument that it's not a summer fragrance and it's more of a fall fragrance. But the tomato vine in this really just gives it that nice summery feel. This is one that I was absolutely obsessed with last year, burning in August. It's this crazy blend of tomato vine and smoked hay and earthy dirt. The dirt and hay do lean a little bit more fall, but that bright tomato vine really gives it a punchy summer feel. It's definitely late summer, but if you want to get away from your more normal coconutty tropical type scents, then this is a good way to escape from that and really diversify your summer burning. And since it is so unique and provides an avenue for me to do that, that's why it lands so high on this list. All right, so coming in at number two on this list, we have what was my favorite candle of last year, and that is Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside and Black Cherry Merlot. So what can I say about this candle that I haven't already said in previous videos? It's just absolutely amazing. I'm the type of person that thinks that Marshmallow Fireside is more of a summer fragrance than a fall one. I know a lot of people burn Marshmallow Fireside during the summer, and I think that adding the Black Cherry Merlot gives it a little bit more of a summery kick for whatever reason. It's so cozy and comforting and warm. It's one that was making me really excited for the summer season so I could crack it out and burn it. I already burned through an entire full one. This one is one from my collection. I think this is the best blend that Bath & Body Works ever put out. And honestly, I'm still salty that they didn't bring this one back this year. I don't know why they didn't. I think that it is and should be considered a crime. I will never forgive them for that, but I absolutely love this thing. It's another one that also could be considered late summer if we're putting bounds on things like that. It does take on a fall-esque vibe. But as you'll see from my top three, that's kind of my favorite type of summer scent, which should be no surprise since fall is my favorite season. Bath & Body Works, if you're watching, bring this one back in the future, please. I only have two left of them and I need more of it. All right, so coming in at the number one spot, my favorite summer fragrance of all time, that is going to be Bath & Body Works Summer Boardwalk. Now, this is just a perfect summer fragrance in my opinion. It's got a really fun and distinctly summer concept a summer boardwalk, a summer county fair. Very relatable, very endearing. And with that comes with the scents that you can smell there, the caramel popcorn, the caramel apples. The caramel apple note in this candle is so delicious and it blends in so well with that salty sweetness coming from the caramel corn. It's so addicting, just an amazing blend of scents. It's nostalgic, it's comforting, and it's another one that almost can be classified as a fall fragrance. This is my absolute go-to, my last candle that I burn for the summer before I start burning fall candles. It kind of just signifies to me the end of summer. This one honestly has to be in my top three favorite Bath & Body Works candles of all time. I'm just such a fan of it and it really was no question to me that this was going to be my number one summer candle of all time. So that is all I have for you guys today. Let me know if you guys have tried any of the candles in my top 10 and what your guys's favorite candles are to burn during the summertime because I always love hearing what you guys have to say. I'm so excited that we are now getting into July. Fall and spooky stuff are starting to pop up everywhere. This is usually the time where things are starting to ramp up for those seasons and you could just like feel it in the air. It's coming. Honestly, this is one of my favorite times of the year and it won't be too long until we actually get to the best time of the year. Remember as always to leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video and subscribe for more candle content because I always have more on the way very soon. Until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.